Kingdom. They called it the Berry Kingdom. Today was a very special day. A new princess had just been born, and the whole kingdom was invited to celebrate. Look, I see Princess Strawberry Rose. Aww. <laughs> Hello, Master Pupcake. What a cutie! Hello, little princess! <laughs> She's <laughs> darling! <laughs> Do you know what you're going to give her? We're only allowed to give one gift each. So it has to be just right. She's already very pretty. She sure doesn't need the gift of beauty. You're right, Appleberry. She certainly doesn't. Hmm... I want my gift to help her be just as pretty on the inside as she is on the outside. Pretty on the inside. I like that. Oh, yes. What a good idea. What would that be? my darling girl. Be the wisest ruler in all the world. <laughs> You'll be a gifted ruler when you become our queen. Not just of people, but nature's creatures and all things green. I give you a green thumb, darling girl. <laughs> <laughs> For now and always ever after, my gift is one of happy laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead with your gift, Appleberry. I'm still thinking. All right, then. The gift of true friendship is my gift to you. You'll be patient, forgiving, and a good listener, too. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. It'll be fine. Well, little princess, I think I will give you. <gasps> Princess, it's just thunder. It'll go away. Oh, no, it won't. <gasps> Brambleberry, it's you. That's right, me. Remember me? Hello, Brambleberry. 
Brambleberry? Why wasn't I invited? Shh! You're scaring the princess! Hello, little princess! It must be a mistake, Brambleberry. I saw the guest list. You were on it. But you got invitations. Why didn't I? Look! Please, look! You're on the guest list. It's right here. Oh! So why didn't I get an invitation? I... I tried. You didn't try hard enough, did you? <sighs> the page had tried, but Brambleberry did not want to listen. Ow! Darn Brambleberry thorns! Hello, Brambleberry fairy! Hello! Are you there? When no one answered, she finally gave up, but not without leaving the invitation. I didn't get one because you didn't leave one. No, I left it. I did. No one meant to hurt your feelings. You're here now. Why not just join the party? I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Since I'm here, I think I'll give the princess my gift. Such a pretty baby, so sweet and clever. A prick from a brambleberry thorn and you'll vanish forever! No! You don't mean it! Hmm. What a terrible gift! Go away! Fine, I'll go, but I'm not taking it back. What can we do? You poor baby! We have no more spells! I still have mine. This terrible gift I cannot undo, but I can make the berry's prick bring only sleep to you. <laughs> An announcement was made that very day. All brambleberries in the castle grounds and throughout the kingdom were to be destroyed. The years passed. The princess grew into a wise, funny, lovely girl who was friend to one and all. <laughs> Hello to you too, little birdie. She didn't even know about the Brambleberry Fairy's mean-spirited wish. <gasps> Until one very special day. Happy birthday, princess! Thank you! The whole castle was alive with activity. No one gave a thought to Brambleberry's terrible wish. <coughs> Except Brambleberry. On this birthday of Princess Strawberry Rose, the entire kingdom makes merry. Today may my gift finally be delivered on the thorn of a Brambleberry. There! Another balloon, please! Kind of berry? <gasps> but the princess never got to taste that brambleberry. Instead, she fell fast asleep. When the fairies found Princess Strawberry Rose asleep in the garden, everyone remembered Brambleberry Fairy's terrible gift. The spell had finally been cast. So they set about making the sleeping princess Strawberry Rose as comfortable as possible. They made a vow to meet each and every day until they found a way to reverse Brambleberry's terrible spell. The fairies saw how unhappy everyone was without their princess. They put everyone in the kingdom into a deep dream sleep until they found a way to wake the sleeping princess. Huh? It was
was a very sad day for the fairies. Well, well, well. My gift has worked wonders. That'll teach them to leave me out. <sighs> and so time passed and the fairy kingdom slumbered. Look, Gingerberry, here's an anti-sleep spell. Give it a try, Tangerina Berry. Come on! A sleep that lasts both day and night. Awaken now from this dreadful plight. Huh? What happened? What? Did it work? <gasps> Ooh, that spell needs work. <laughs> And though they had the very best intentions, they weren't having much luck. Ah! <gasps> oh dear! What have you done? Eek! <laughs> this just keeps getting better. I was trying something different. I am so sorry, Gingerberry. <laughs> sorry is so not going to be good enough. Accepted. <gasps> I'll fix it, I promise. I'll try something different. Now there's a scary thought. <laughs> <laughs> she forgave her? I never forgive anyone for that. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Berry cider sure smells good. W wish I could have some. I wish her spells were as good as these cookies. <laughs> mm, yeah. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> More time passed. The seasons changed. And Brambleberry was all alone in her cold little house. <sighs> After a long, lonely winter, Brambleberry thought it would cheer her up to once again see the princess under her spell. But instead, she felt a sadness. <gasps> hey, what's going on here? This is supposed to cheer me up. Look at you with your little puppy. You even have faithful friends while you sleep. Why do I feel crummy? I'm the one who was wronged. I'm the one they purposely didn't invite. I'm the one that got hurt. But now, I've hurt everyone else. <laughs> Everybody still loves you! Nobody loves me! I don't have one friend in the world! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> oh dear! Oh my! Prince Huckleberry! What have I done? Ew. Oh! Oh! Prince Huckleberry! I am so sorry! Brambleberry Fairy had met Prince Huckleberry once before, and he had been very kind to her. Please! Please accept my apology! No, I will not accept your apology. You did that on purpose. <gasps> I did not. I would never. I'm not ever listening. Hit you I'm on not purpose. listening because you did no, that on please. purpose. No, please. I was just upset. No! Stop it! Why won't you listen? I've had a very bad day, and I never meant to run into you. No, I, I, I. What? Hey, you're smiling. Why? Why are you smiling? Because uh, listening is a very, very good thing. Don't you think, Miss Brambleberry? <sighs> well, of course. Yes, of course. Then why do we not do it so much of the time? Uh, yeah, huh? We get hurt and we get angry. We make choices we regret. But that's just the part of growing. And we're not through growing yet. Cause the one thing to remember As you grow more strong and tall Is what you thought was more than true May not be that way at all 
If we take the time to listen If we listen so we hear If we take the time to listen Then the truth behind the message will come through Loud and clear I went jumping to conclusions I let no one have their say I got mean and made decisions I regretted every day Don't know why I got so selfish Don't know why I couldn't see If I had tried to hear the other side How much better things would be If we take the time to listen If we let our friends explain If we take the time to listen There'll be much more understanding Much less hurt Much less pain If we take the time to listen Then before the story ends If we take the time to listen Then the world will be a better place So full of love And friends (laughs) (laughs) I am so sorry I never meant to knock you down I accept your apology And I hope you'll accept mine (laughs) For what? I was eavesdropping on you. You were? What did you hear? Everything you said to Princess Strawberry Rose. How dare you? You had no right. Isn't it time to undo the spell and make things right? I feel bad. The princess, she's not the one who didn't invite me. Surely there was a good reason. Didn't you hear why you didn't get invited? (laughs) They said they tried, but I know they didn't. Why? Because, well, because... It hurt your feelings, didn't it? Well, yes, of course. It's such a quick jump from hurt to mad. Then we do things we wish we hadn't. I went by your briar patch on the way here. It's really thorny. Keeps out burglars and anyone up to no good. And maybe everyone else? (gasps) You mean... (gasps) I thought people didn't like me, and that's why I didn't get invited. (gasps) The page was telling the truth, wasn't she? Could have been. I've got to fix things here. Hey, wait for me. The enchanted sleep now comes undone. Awake, my princess. Bring back your joy and fun. Princess, please wake up. It didn't work. Oh, dear. What if I can't undo it? Hmm. Let's think. Maybe you just need some help. The help of good friends. Oh, Oh, it's Rambleberry. What's she doing here? Oh, my. I owe you all an apology. Huh? Huh? You tried to tell me what happened with my invitation to Princess Rose's party. But I wouldn't listen. And now, I tried to undo the spell, but it didn't work. But if we all tried working together, what do you say? I know what you're thinking. I don't deserve forgiving. (sighs) No, that wasn't what I was thinking at all. I was thinking how much I miss you. Of course we forgive you. Don't worry, we'll do it together. We're here to help. back. Come on, girls! We have a princess to awaken! And so, all six fairies work together! Look! The puppy's waking up! And the castle awakened! Uh... It was like time had stood still! The cake was as fresh as the day it was baked! (gasps) (laughs) Prince Huckleberry! I think I just took a nap! Did I miss the party? (laughs) No, princess. The party starts right now. Rambleberry Fairy, where are you going? You'll miss the party. That's all right, princess. This is all my fault. Everyone's sleeping all this time. And look at the castle. That's my fault, too. (laughs) So, I love gardening, and I don't know a thing about growing brambleberries. Would you teach me? (gasps) <gasps> I don't understand. How can you possibly forgive me? Silly, that's what friends do. And so, 
Brambleberry went to the party with Princess Strawberry Rose and all her friends. And when it was over, Brambleberry went right home and cut a big path through her Brambleberry patch. <laughs> From then on, Brambleberry never shut out a friend's apology, and she listened well. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.